Grand Theft Auto 6. Where will it be set? How will its gameplay differ from previous entries? What platforms will it come out on? And when? By isolating credible rumors from the implausible ones, analyzing statements Rockstar Games executives have made and the paths the company took in the past, I'll give you what I believe are the right answers to these questions. However, keep in mind that there are no official answers and unlike some people, I unfortunately haven't had exclusive early access to the game. That being said, sit back relax and enjoy a look into the future of Grand Theft Auto. Before getting into the details, let's quickly answer a boring but critical question. Is there even going to be a GTA 6? Well, Grand Theft Auto V is the second highest rated game of the decade, the first being Red Dead Redemption 2. And GTA V is not only the most commercially successful video game of all time, it is the most profitable entertainment product in history. It has made much more money than any movie or album. The sequel has the potential to make an even bigger profit. Can you imagine Rockstar passing on that? Leslie Benzies, the former lead developer on the GTA series, can't. He confirmed GTA 6 was going to happen just a few days after GTA 5 had first been released. What's more, a former employee of Rockstar India, who was credited in the Red Dead Redemption 2 credits, shared that he has worked on vehicle models for GTA 6 in his resume, which was of course taken down shortly after it was discovered. Grand Theft Auto 6 is coming. So what location will it be set in? Could the next GTA be set in Europe or Asia? It wouldn't be the first time. In the two GTA 1 expansions, we got to explore London. In addition, according to Tech Radar, around 2003, Rockstar was seriously considering to make a GTA game based in Tokyo. They even sent out developers to the capital to take photos and speak with the locals. However, the idea was then scrapped. One of the reasons why was that the road system wasn't suitable for GTA. But more importantly, the Hauser brothers, co-founders of Rockstar, realized they didn't understand the Japanese culture well enough and eventually made the decision not to set future GTA games outside of the US. A satire of America is what the modern GTA titles are. Moreover, the US has more guns per capita than any other country, making it an ideal setting for a game like this. That's why I'm confident the next Grand Theft Auto will yet again be set in the land of opportunity. Well, if you need some downtime, go hang out at the apartment and watch some American TV. It is much better than the shit we got back in the old country. Most of the shit on TV in the old country was from America. The dream of many fans, and even of Rockstar itself, is a huge map that would incorporate all three signature GTA regions. Liberty City, San Andreas and Vice City. In fact, this is kind of how the franchise started. GTA 1 included all of these locations, even if as three separate maps. It's a cool idea, but it's not realistic for the next GTA. Grand Theft Auto 5 is the largest world. Rockstar has created so far, yet it only contains one city. Imagine how massive GTA 6 would have to be in order to feature three or more cities. On top of that, its world is going to be much more detailed and of significantly higher fidelity than any Rockstar has created so far. It would take them ages just to craft the environments, and even their time is somewhat limited. The sequel might not even be bigger than GTA 5, which was fairly bland outside of Los Santos. Red Dead Redemption 2 has a more compact but much more detailed map and that could be the direction they take with GTA 6 too. 
Just like after San Andreas, they made a smaller but more detailed world. With GTA 4, it would only make sense to follow up the massive but sometimes dull environments of GTA 5 with a not necessarily as big but richer, more dense and more alive feeling world of the next Grand Theft Auto. By the way, there's more GTA 6 could borrow from GTA 4, such as the darker, more serious atmosphere and more realistic physics. But anyway, where exactly will the game be set? Basically all rumors claim something else. We'll take a close look at the rumors in the following chapter of this video, but what they all have in common is that GTA 6 will take place in more than one location and that one of these locations will be Vice City. And there's a good chance it will be the main location the game will be centered around. After all, it is the only one of the three trademark GTA areas that has not gotten an HD reimagining. Besides, there's a major demand for a new release in the Miami-inspired setting, as GTA Vice City is probably the most beloved game in the series. Anyhow, the original Vice City map is tiny for today's standards. Here it is compared to GTA 5 and real-life Miami. The GTA 6 Vice City would without a doubt be a more two-scale take on Miami, possibly featuring some surrounding areas as well. Thus, Vice City is where the game is most likely to be set, at least a part of it. But when will it be set? The most obvious answer would be the present day. In fact, every numbered entry in the franchise, from GTA 1 to GTA 5, was set in the year of its initial release. However, making a satire of today's America would be more difficult and divisive than ever before. A few months ago, Dan Hauser said, quote, It's really unclear what we would even do with it, let alone how upset people would get with whatever we did. Both intense liberal progression and intense conservatism are both very militant and very angry. It's hard to satirize for those reasons. Some of the stuff you see is straightforwardly beyond satire. It would be out of date within two minutes. Everything is changing so fast." Unquote. From this statement alone, it's clear that Rockstar is not working on a GTA title set in the present day. And if we assume Vice City is going to be its dominant location, it's also clear GTA 6 will be based in the 1980s. That's when both Vice City and Vice City stories took place. And the time period is arguably one of the key reasons why the former is such a fan favorite. Rockstar admits this too, when Leslie Benzies was asked whether there was a chance a future GTA would be set in Vice City, he said quote, it is somewhere we'd love to revisit, but Miami in the 1980s is so iconic it would feel strange to revisit it in a different time period." Unquote. Therefore, after 15 years of Grand Theft Auto games set in the present day, we're probably going back to the 80s. There are four notable GTA 6 rumors or leaks we'll go through. The first three are not too credible but still worth mentioning, while the last one is more trustworthy. The first originated on Glassdoor.com. It's a website where current and former employees review companies. The site claims they verify that each member has actually worked for the business they critique, but at the same time it's supposedly easy to bluff. That said, earlier this year an alleged Rockstar employee posted this review. Apart from a reference to Bully, the first letters in this paragraph read GTA 6 LSVCLC, suggesting Grand Theft Auto 6 will, according to this man, be set in Los Santos, Vice City and Liberty City. That's almost the all locations in one game dream scenario I've talked about, only without San Fierro and Las Venturas. Nonetheless, I find this unfeasible as well. And of course, this whole rumor is not exactly trustworthy. 
Another leak was posted on pastebin.com, also earlier this year. It has since been removed by someone else than the creator, which is the only thing that adds some plausibility to it. Still, don't take this one too seriously either. The post said that the game would be set in Vice City and Liberty City, and that in the single player campaign you'd witness the main character gradually become a drug lord and that there'd be story flashbacks. Did you see that? Yeah, you're <laughs> real stout. <laughs> Pastebin is also where this next leak was shared. It is primarily about the PlayStation 5, but it includes a GTA 6 tidbit. Quote, GTA 6 Holiday 2020 most probably, not hearing anything PS4 related, hearing that Sony is paying huge money to secure one month time exclusive for PS5, been hearing rumors about Miami and New York, so two big cities, but I'm not sure if that's 100% true." Unquote. This post has not been removed, but what makes it somewhat interesting is that it was shared months prior to the PS5 reveal in the Wired interview and several claims in the leak ended up being correct. That's why some assume the rest of the information is also true, but I definitely wouldn't make that assumption. I made a video on the next-gen PlayStation six months before this leak was published, and much of the statements about the PS5 I made in it turned out to be correct. That doesn't mean I had some secret insider knowledge of the console, I simply drew conclusions by deductive reasoning, much like I'm doing in this video. The fact that I was right about the PS5 does not mean I will necessarily be right about GTA 6, and the very same goes for the pastebin leak. Furthermore, the leaker claims to be a European developer, working for some studio that's not Rockstar, and it doesn't make any sense for him to have exclusive information about GTA 6 as he has nothing to do with the studio making it. Last but not least, a rumor that's older but more credible than the prior ones. It was shared by Inside Gaming, formerly the No, about a year ago. Their track record is neither terrible nor perfect. I can easily think of sources more trustworthy, but the fact is that this is the most relevant GTA 6 rumor. According to Inside Gaming, the location is Vice City, but we'll also visit South America. This could be Colombia as there are many references to the country across the Grand Theft Auto series. The Colombian cartel was the main group of antagonists in GTA 3 and many GTA characters were Colombians. Allegedly, the game is codenamed Project Americas. If it's true, to me the codename clearly suggests the South American location will be a major part of the title, not just a North Yankton style setting for a mission or two. Instead, something like a second map, a place you'd be able to travel to even outside of the story and also in the online part of the game. Inside Gaming made no mention of when the next GTA would be set. However, in the 1980s, Miami was known as the drug capital of the world. Tons of cocaine was being smuggled to South Florida from Central and South America, mostly by Pablo Escobar's cartel. This led to the so-called Miami drug war between the US government and multiple cartels, which would doubtlessly make for an interesting theme of the GTA 6 narrative along with immigration. The mentioned conflict would be even more intriguing if you got to experience it from both sides with a duo of playable characters, one being a criminal and the other perhaps a dirty cop, something not uncommon in 1980s Miami. There's no indication this will actually be the case though, it's just speculation. The only thing the Inside Gaming report mentions as for the characters is that there will be a playable female protagonist. Now, despite the fact that this was supposed to be the last rumor, well into the making of this video, a new one popped up on Reddit. According to its author, the info comes from his sources at PC Gamer and Kotaku. Nonetheless, a well-known Kotaku editor, Jason Schreier, says it's fake. Thus, like the first three, the rumor is implausible. I still found it worth bringing up though, because with every GTA gossip, there is some chance it's real, and the info is actually in line with the rest of this video. Like the Inside Gaming report, this one also claims the codename is Project Americas, and that the story, allegedly divided into chapters like in Red Dead, is about becoming a drug lord. 
The rumor has it, the game is set in Vice City and a new fictional location based on Brazil's Rio de Janeiro in the 70s and 80s. Additionally, the trunks of cars are set to be used for storing equipment, similarly to Red Dead's saddlebags. And that's that for GTA 6 rumors. Action-adventure games are adopting more and more RPG elements. We've seen that, for instance, with Assassin's Creed, God of War or Red Dead Redemption 2. It's a fair bet this trend will continue with Grand Theft Auto 6, and so you'll have more things to maintain and upgrade, deeper customization options, even more activities and random events to do, and so on. GTA 6 will certainly borrow even more from the latest Red Dead possibly the NPC lock-on system, providing you with multiple options of interaction. And hopefully something much more consequential, and that is deep, well-crafted characters we'll care about. Moreover, Red Dead fans long for Rockstar to bring some of the signature RDR mechanics over to the GTA franchise, especially the honor level and the Deadeye tagging and shooting system. I don't think the honor level would work in GTA, as it would always be very low for most players. On the other hand, Deadeye could work, and it would be a natural upgrade from the basic slow motion shooting ability Michael had. And speaking of Michael, who will we play as in GTA 6? The previously mentioned Inside Gaming report didn't specify whether that be one or more playable characters. It did, however, state that there would be a female protagonist. That'd be a first for Grand Theft Auto, since women in the series have usually only had the roles of girlfriends or working girls. Regardless, with the two Red Dead Redemption games, Rockstar has proven they know how to build strong female characters, and it's plausible we'll play as one in GTA 6. The franchise has always been pretty male-centric though, so honestly, I can't imagine you'd only be able to play as a woman. If there is a playable female character, I'm positive there will be one one or two playable male characters too. Nevertheless, ideally, I'd like the series to return to a single protagonist, as it makes the whole experience more focused and it's the prime reason why I think GTA 5's story lagged behind GTA 4's. Who are you working for? Uh, my cousin, Roman. <laughs> Let me know whether you'd prefer a single or multiple playable characters in the poll, which should be displayed right now. So, we've only talked about the GTA 6 single player thus far, but what about the online part of the game? Some believe that GTA Online is much more than just the multiplayer component of GTA 5. That it's a platform, that future Grand Theft Auto releases will not come with their own separate multiplayers, but that they'll expand the already existing GTA Online universe. It may sound good on paper, but in reality, it's nonsense. For one thing, GTA Online is already not supported on PS3 and Xbox 360. In addition, the GTA 6 Online component will have to be its own thing separate from the GTA Online we know today, because it will be running on a different engine and even on different platforms. Nonetheless, it's possible Rockstar will allow players to carry over their progress, and they may even port the GTA 5 map into the GTA 6 Online. But the fact is that it will be a successor to today's Grand Theft Auto Online, not its extension. Whereas Rockstar is made up of numerous studios around the world, every core Grand Theft Auto game until 5 was developed by a single one of them, Rockstar North. With GTA 5, North was still the main studio, but some of the other teams provided help. However, due to games getting bigger and bigger, and their worlds more and more detailed, with Rockstar's latest release, Red Dead Redemption 2, the tasks were shared between all of the studios, including North. There's no doubt that this is the way the next GTA is currently being made too. Therefore, while a part of Rockstar North has without question been working on GTA 6 ever since its predecessor came out, the rest of that studio and all the other Rockstar developers joined the creative process only late last year, after Red Dead had finally been completed. Let's call being developed by a small team pre-production and being worked on by all of Rockstar Studios full production. 
Red Dead Redemption 2 was in pre-production for 3 years, and then another 5 in full production. GTA 6 was in pre-production for 5 years, and so far has been in full production for something less than a year, since the next GTA has been in development for around 6 years and it took Rockstar 8 to make Red Dead, it's obvious GTA 6 won't be out for at least 2 more years. Although, because it has spent most of the time in pre-production, and because GTA 6 is for sure going to be even more ambitious than Red Dead Redemption 2, I'm convinced it will need some extra time on top of the mentioned 2 years. Consequently, I expect the next GTA to come out between late 2022 and 2024, and if I had to pick a more narrow time frame, it'd be the year 2023. Even if that is far away, the announcement might not really be. Rockstar tends to reveal games two years before they are released. If it indeed comes out in 2023, the announcement would probably take place in 2021. Nevertheless, I can also imagine it being unveiled next year, in 2020, alongside one of the two next-gen consoles. That is, after all, how GTA 4 was first teased. Some guys do rubber ducks, some guys do tattoos. So what I'd like to show you is my new edition. It's appropriate to note though that a few weeks ago, the CEO of Take-Two, the company that owns Rockstar, said they don't want the gaps between entries in a series to get much larger than the 8 year gap between the two Red Dead Redemption titles. That mean GTA 6 would be out by the fall of 2021. However, by making Rockstar rush the game, Take-Two would risk both GTA 6 not meeting the high expectations everyone has for it and damaging the GTA brand. It would be foolish of them and I don't see them doing it. In any case, what platforms will Grand Theft Auto 6 come out on? Every core GTA game to date was made for the latest generation of consoles available at the time of its release. There's no reason to believe this will change with the next game, and since the PlayStation 5 and what is currently known as Project Scarlet will launch next year, GTA 6 will be released for these two platforms. The PC version should of course come out a while after the initial release, as usual. Interestingly, this will make the PS4 and Xbox One generation the only console generation without the GTA title made primarily for it ever since the original game came out 22 years ago. Name's Tim, with two M's, because mmm, mmm, I am hungry, 24-7. What's your name, buddy? Trevor, with three B's. Grand Theft Auto 6 will yet again be set in the United States. For the first time since San Andreas, the game will not take place in the present day. Instead, we'll probably revisit 1980s Vice City. If any of the rumors is true, the game will contain an additional location, besides the reimagining of Miami, possibly Columbia or Liberty City. The title will feature more RPG elements, and we might get to play as a woman in the single player for the first time. As for the multiplayer, it will not be an extension to the GTA Online we know today, but its successor. I expect that Grand Theft Auto 6 will release for PlayStation 5 and the next-gen Xbox in 2023 or so, and that it will be announced in 2021 although I can see Rockstar revealing it in 2020 as well. So that is what I believe the future holds for Grand Theft Auto. And this has been Game Ground. See you around.